Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who's been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. during the game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Justice is lined up to kick this one off. And you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 25. The Volunteers have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires it out, and he's taken down at the 26. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Only three yards there on the throw. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Hester is back to receive. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second and three. Cody on a pitch to the left. He's out of bounds. Right around the 34. That'll bring up third and two. Third down and two. Ball on the 34 yard line. Oh, 
Owen to punt. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Incomplete. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 32. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a junior 11 on the play. That'll bring my third in inches. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. Hey, check right. Check right. He's out. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, 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 motion. Lateral's back. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 14. And they convert on third down. Big play here for the offense, and it all starts up front. The line did a good job of sealing their blocks and allowing the ball carry to almost break it there. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Another run, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 18. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the nine-yard line. Tennessee could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Patterson ready to kick. And he'll return this one from the seventh. And he's taken down to the 27-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach Still when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down right around the 12-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. They line up at the 12. It's second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seems to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. Seven yard line. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Tennessee's got a three point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Out. 
from their own 37 yard line. It's second down. Quick throw to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 46. Keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. That'll make it fourth and two. Daniels back deep to return. He drops it. Tackle at the 25 yard line. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tennessee has a three point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Throws a laser across the middle. And they make the stop at the 37. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it six. Three down, three down. 552. Quick throw, and down he goes at about the 25-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Hodge will run it again. Tackle around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, second down. Fires quick, tipped. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tennessee is up by three. Throws it in a hurry. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Has some daylight. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. They get nice yardage on that run. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. All day, all day, every day, any day. And he hits him hard at the one. That's a game of two. Third down. And he just gets rid of it.
This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Cody takes it at the four. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He wants it all. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. That makes it second. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. Slings it. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 43-yard line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Georgia will take their second time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets rid of this one. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Justice looks ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 6-3, Volunteer. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll go ground, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That brings up third and 14. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. And he's tackled at the 41. We're about set to start things up again. Tennessee is up a field goal. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. Down at about the 41. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mark 55, Mark 55. Throws incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He's at the 30. Makes it to the 21. First down. Gives it up the gut. 
He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Nice play to set up first and goal. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Roger, Roger. My 52, my 52. And let's get this, get this. Go, Jack White. Show some moves and he's in. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 58-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Taken at the five. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. his way out to about the 35. First down, Grant. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 21-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. the middle for a nice game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And a quick throw. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Play is number eight on the drive. He's tackled at the one yard line. That makes it third and goal. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Down, Bulldogs. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. 
tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 72 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the three. He makes it to the 25 yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You know, when this defense went over the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be vivid. You know, he's got to get into the face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. So at the end of the third quarter, the Volunteers in front, 13-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Tennessee holds a field goal lead. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. We've got third and long here. Ball on the 19-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Monroe to punt. Heading for the corner, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Pass is tipped away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. Second and 10, ball on the 41-yard line. And he throws it away. a loss of about five. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Daniels is back deep to return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tennessee has a three-point lead. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 16. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second down at 14. Ball on their own 16.
Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down at the 17. Perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And that'll be three and out. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. Hester, back to return it. Hester builds it to 41. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Georgia's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Blue 14! Blue 14! Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 32. Just under two to go in the game. Makes the first down catch. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Allen was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 24-yard line. Second down. Hand off to the right. Tackle left side after a nice pickup. That'll make it 35. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the two-yard line. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Touchdown! And that's going to give them the lead.
The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 35-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 17-13. Daniels fields it at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Tennessee's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Throws and it's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires it out. And he's taken down right around the 30. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. Under a minute left in the game. Just a tremendous job by that defense. And their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Volunteers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. Once it all, going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. That tackle just sealed the deal. This one's in the books. The Bulldogs just win it. 17-13. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.